Welcome back. Today we're going to be creating some form of skeleton CSS animation and then after a set period of time we're going to replace that with our content. So for example, a reload, we've got our loading state and then it gets populated with some content. Okay, in the interest of speeding things up, I've gone ahead and created an index.html and a style.css. Within the style.css, I'm just calling in a Google font, just resetting some sizing. And then I've got my gradient just here. And then this here is just basically centering all of our elements in the middle. So uh, nothing fancy going on. I'm just going to go ahead and set up our structure now. So let's say a div with main. Then I'm going to have a div with, let's say, image as our feature image. I have a H1 with a class of heading. And then I'm going to have a P with the class of content. So let's just tidy that up save that so main image heading and content then i'm going to come back over to my style.css and i'm going to say main and let's set the background to be white hashtag fff save uh, width is going to be 400 pixels and the min height is going to be 400 pixels then I'm going to say border radius is 10 pixels. And then I've got some um, box shadow over here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this quickly, actually. Here, that. Finally, I'm just going to add padding as 30 pixels. Save that. Okay. And we've got, you know, a very simple white a white uh, wrapper or container with some rounded edges and a little bit of um, box shadow. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is actually set up our gray elements. So to do that, they're going to have a loading class. And within this, I'm going to say the background is going to be, what if I set over here, it's background is going to be hashtag C1, C1, C1. And then I'm going to say the min height of these elements is height is going to be 30 pixels save that then i'm going to say position is relative and the overflow is going to be hidden i'll take this off in a second and i'll show you why we've set the overflow as hidden but now i can come back over to my elements and i'm going to add that loading class loading loading and loading now we've got three elements in here, which is going to be our image and the, the heading and then the paragraph text. First, I'm going to change the heading and I'm going to say, uh, sorry, the image and I'm going to say the height of the image is, oh, let's say min height. The min height of this is going to be, um, I don't know, 200 pixels. Save that. Brilliant. Now, to get that animation where it's kind of uh, transitioning across, we need to target the before method. So I'm going to say dot loading column column before, and then we need to start off with our content and declare nothing. I'm going to say position absolute. Then I'm going to do display block. Width is 100%. Obviously, we want it to be 100% of this, and then the height. I'm just going to set that to 100%. The we'll do the transform in a second. I'm going to do the background first and say background is going to be a linear gradient so I'll basically what I'm after is if it wasn't moving it would be transparent here it goes into white and then it becomes transparent and then what we can do is we can have that element transition across the screen so it looks like it's loading so to do that I'm going to say we're going to the right we're going to go transparent then we're going to be a white which I'm going to just use uh, d3 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 and then we're going to go back to transparent again. Uh, transparent. You know, when you look at something. Yep, that's right. Okay, and then I'm going to set the transform. Actually, let's leave that for a second. Um, so we've got a slightly grayed out there. Let me just make this a little bit darker. Save. So as you can see, if I made it really white, see that we've got that you know slight um, gradient in the middle. So what did I say? D3. D3, D3. Like that might have to go a little bit lighter, but we'll see in a second. Actually, you know what? I can barely see it. There you go. 
Now I'm going to transform this and I'm going to transform it by tran and translate on the x axis and I'm going to say this is minus 100%. I want it to, I want it to be 100% off off the screen. And this is why we moved uh, so we set the overflow hidden before. If I take that off, what you can see is we've got the actual and uh, the the gradient just out here. So I'm going to say overflow is hidden. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set an animation class on this and oh don't want all of that. What I'm going to say is I want to animate something that we're going to call loading. It's going to happen over one second and it's going to be infinite. Now I'm going to come down and set that animation up. So I'm going to say at keyframes. Call it loading. So the name that we've given it here. And then what is it that we want to load? Well, I want to load it 100% and I want to transform. The translate on the x-axis again. And now I want to go 100% of the way. Now we've got that smooth loading state. And if we wanted to make it really quick, we could say like 0.3 seconds. Obviously, that is not good at all. So I'm going to just make this a little bit darker. A little bit more. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I think we can play around with it quite a bit. So that's our skeleton set up. Now it's a case of injecting our code into it. To do that, what I'm going to do is come over to our index.html and I'm going to just open up some script tags. Now within here, I want to target each of these elements. because I'm going to put some content in there. So I'm going to say our const image is equal to document dot query selector. And what am I selecting? I'm selecting the image. I'll make sure you include the uh, the class because we, we're working with classes here. And I'm going to duplicate this line three times. And then I'm going to say now our heading is equal to heading. And then image is, uh, uh, yeah, the, the last line is now equal to content. So if I console.logged, oh, log, let's just grab one of these elements and say image, save. And I open up our console. You'll see that when we now that we've grabbed this element, we've got it available here. So now we can change the inner content of it. So we can say inner text or inner inner HTML. So first things first, I'm going to create a function and say fetch data. And then within here, actually, I might just throw these elements into this. And I'm going to say image dot inner html is equal to and i'm just going to use uh, pixum so pixum photos uh, photos is basically a lower ipsum but for photos so you can go to pixum dot photos and if you put in a um the, the basically the parameters that you want in the url so 200 by 200 that would return you i oh, sorry 200 by 300 that would return you an image 200 by 300 so if i just inspect here and i check out our size so we are 340 by 200 what i'm going to say is our inner html is going to be image source is equal to pixum 340 by 200 and then i want to terminate our line so let's just save that let's just see if it works oh hang on we obviously need to call it so let's just call fetch uh, data and straight away it is okay so we, we we know that we've got a bit of an issue there but that's fine we can sort that out so to do that what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove the loading class so on the image still i'm going to say class list dot remove loading because as soon as we've loaded that content we don't want that loading status so uh, let's just call that again there you go okay so it's a case of rinse and repeat right now so i'm going to go down duplicate this line i'm going to say the inner html for heading Heading is going to be some title and then our content 
let's just grab some lorem ipsum and just say you are now that so save this and obviously you know like i said a second ago it's not doing anything because we just created a function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a timeout and that is going to take in a callback function and so we artificially show like a, a loading state and so after two seconds i want you to fetch the data so as soon as the website loads so let's just hit enter website loads it's going fetching the data returns the data and then it removes all those states i hope that makes sense if you do have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below but until next time take it easy